go to an admission by a senior ABC journalist that their reporting on the origins of COVID-19 was badly wrong and revealing details about exactly why ABC political editor Andrew Probin was sacked. The comments were caught by microphones which had been set up for the Osman press conference with United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken on Saturday afternoon. These comments were being fed into every major newsroom in the country as part of the broadcaster's pool feed. The damning conversation involved the ABC foreign affairs reporter Stephen Jedgitz, who was sitting there waiting for the news conference to begin with Matthew Knott from the Sydney Morning Herald and the Australian's Ben Packham. In this recording, Stephen Jedgitz makes an astonishing admission that the public broadcaster had failed to investigate the origins of COVID, which some intelligence agencies believe began in a laboratory in Wuhan. He also unloaded on the ABC's decision to sack Andrew Probin, saying it's the worst decision the broadcaster has made. He spoke about the real reason he was sacked, calling it personal, after Probin had a disagreement with management. Firstly, here's what Stephen Jedgitz had to say about my own coverage of Wuhan. It's a good Shari's word. latest. Shari's COVID. What did Shari's, Shari's yeah, yeah. I, she has a weakness. Yeah, amazingly, she is looking more is, and more like she's gone in phases. Right. It's, it's just annoying. I know, she's gone in phases. She's such a pitbull and she's so unhinged, and yeah. yet she might still be right. And look, I would, yeah, I would definitely say <laughs> it's still definitely unresolved. Can you unresolved, be unhinged and still but, right? <laughs> it's persuasive. It's looking How less... does she know it wasn't a bat? She doesn't. No one does. But it is the location is extremely suspicious. It's obviously. It's, yeah. I know. I don't. You don't want to let the Chinese off the hook. Do you? I feel. I feel like I remember being super dismissive of that. Very early. Not even very early on. For a good while, I was like, that is just the most unhinged thing ever. And I reckon it was, I was overly influenced by the fact that there were some truly nasty and crazy people who were already deep down the rabbit hole. I probably didn't look at it dispassionately enough. It was very, it became um, weirdly ideological. Yeah, well, it just became very Trumpy. Which it shouldn't be. Yeah. You sort, you sort of had well, even the attacks on Fauci and stuff. Yeah, it's sort of all yeah, yeah. Trumpy. Stuff, but you, yeah. Sort of had, yeah. you sort of had the three sort of theories there, that, you know, natural. Yeah. The Chinese were monkeying around with the virus. Yeah. Or they released it as a as a bioweapon sort of thing, and that was yeah, the bioweapon stuff was always and, 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 yeah, see, it got right? caught up, and that, that. Yeah. that sort of got no as opposed ser- to a lab leak. No, no is, one, yeah. no one rational took that seriously, but it yeah. sort of meant it them- sort of fed into the lab leak stuff or became yeah. associated with it. Yeah. Look, nice to hear my colleague Ben Packham defending my coverage, but calling me unhinged and a pit bull. Well, I describe my investigative book my features, my documentary, my dozens of world-exclusive articles as careful and forensic. I've interviewed hundreds of people both on and off the record, including whistleblowers, Wuhan sources, intelligence officials, government insiders, investigators and more. I've spent hundreds of hours of my time away from my children or when I should have been sleeping late at night and very early in the morning to investigate this because I felt and I still feel It's incredibly important to know the origins of the pandemic. But more importantly, did you hear that astonishing admission about why Stephen Jedgitz, the ABC's foreign affairs reporter, why he didn't look into this story because of ideology? Have a listen again. I feel like I remember being super dismissive of that very early, not even very early on, for a good while. I was like, that is just the most unhinged thing ever. And I reckon it was, I was overly influenced by the fact that there were some truly nasty and crazy people who were already deep down the rabbit hole. I probably didn't look at it dispassionately enough. I mean, the ABC is meant to serve public interest and public interest journalism and the origins of the pandemic, what was unfolding in Wuhan, is absolutely in the public interest with 7 million people who have now died. But this stunning admission that a journalist didn't consider or investigate it because of ideological reasons. Paul Barry and the ABC's medical expert, Dr Norman Swan, also dismissed a lab leak. And this attitude seems to have permeated the ABC. It's a disservice to our society and it's a shame that public interest journalism wasn't pursued. But the conversation, caught on hot mic, then turned to Andrew Probin. Stephen Jedgitz gave the inside word on why the ABC's political editor was dumped. He describes it as 
the worst decision and claims it was personal because Probin didn't get along with ABC Canberra boss Michelle Ainsworth. He talks about arguments over editorial decisions. Have a listen. But honestly, there are so many of the people popping up on ABC. Nine new people joined. Like on News 24, all these people from Canberra, I literally have no idea. Yeah, they they've, they've really got all a lot of these young people. They're all, they're all, yeah, like, they're all getting paid 70,000, whereas pro, like, there are probably four or five of them yeah. are pros. But I was like, well, it's going to be. So, many. And I, so there's going to be these new positions created as well. Through TikTok. Euro. Yeah. Has and I actually been... feel for them because they are going to walk into a really hostile yeah. environment. Is, and it's not really is it split? I heard it split between the kind of pro, you know, pro probes, newsy kind of people, and then the... There was a generational... Um, I didn't know how to say it. There was a generational and has been... A, yeah. There has been a generational split, and it was the worst thing. Like, it was really, really awful. Like, because whoever the f*** leaked to our dear oh, friends in Australia... Sweet. I mean... <laughs> but, like... I could guess. I could guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Hypocrite to complain about leaks, but like it was just like people in the bureau felt personally attacked, right? So we had this awful bloody meeting immediately afterwards, and it was just scarifying. Um, and like, I don't think like I think the decision to get rid of probes was the worst decision. What about? I don't think it was a diversity thing. I genuinely don't. I don't. I think it's the thing. It was personal. It was personal. It was personal. It was personal. Yeah. She back at work yet or still? But I don't understand. Come back, do you? But what's the point? I can't. I don't. But why was but what, why did it get up to the top level top levels that they agreed? I can get why she might have wanted him out, but why did the person above her? So he, why did he fought, Justin he Stevens fought, well, I don't know no, about the editorial editorial there were there were there were, yeah. there were big editorial disagreements yeah. and probes was always pushing yeah. publish, yeah. publish, publish, publish. Yeah. Yeah. You should that's what we do. You yeah. want it back and forth. The ABC has been made aware of a conversation, so this is the statement that the ABC has provided us in response to questions about this clearly defamatory conversation. The ABC said they have been made aware of a conversation between members of the press gallery, including an ABC staff member that was captured by a live mic prior to the start of a media conference. They say, we are urgently investigating the matter. The ABC has a very clear code of conduct. It is also obliged to follow due process in staff matters, including confidentiality.